Homebee's always been distinguished, man. You know, that's just, that's the thing with us. It's, it's, it's something different with us than it is with all other people, man. Uh, our, our sound is, our sound is, is deep, it's educated, because that's what we are. You know, the city is, we all know it's much different. Yes, sir. Because back then, Long Beach was Long Beach, straight up. I mean, it was insane, you know, we had the 20s, whatever. Everything was good. The city of Los Angeles is the city of Los Angeles. Long Beach is Long Beach community. Long Beach Crips. Long Beach experience. Damn near every party around, house party, after school party, all that was us. When we get on the Long Beach Transit, go from high school to high school, battle. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care who it was. Yeah, yeah this is where war used to get down at, man. I'm, I'm standing out here in front of that place where that, where that group used to jam at, that, that music came up missing. Straddling the fence, I mean, I was in the street life and I was DJing. Street life took away from the DJ. I had did five years on lockdown and uh, I was the first youngest dude to hit Marion, Illinois. A celly that was right next to me was John God. You know, talk to him every day. We put the effort into our music. We don't go halfway. Now you can hang out in the daytime, but once it got late, once it got about seven o'clock, you don't you don't hang out in yeah you don't hang out in railroad tracks. Yeah, big man, yeah. you know, motherfuckers got pushed over this bridge. Bitch jumped off and hung herself. <laughs> Cornbread grabbed the tape, start running. Me and Jeff really chasing this nigga. You know what I'm saying? He running, he running through the hood. We chasing him and shit. We like, nigga, get your ass back here. You know what I'm saying? He said, no, cause I heard my name and you know it's on, nigga. What's that shit called? Just the Crip Jam. He like, man, that shit hard as a motherfucker. This rap is hard. It is the Crip Jam. C. Breeze Lloyd is who I am. I never listen up. That was the battle ram, you know, Compton, Carson, L.A. and Wise. He ain't even mentioned Long Beach. Imagine that. Like we wasn't relevant or something. Ain't that a bit? <laughs> You see how powerful our voice is and what our capabilities is. We really focus that on things that can move our situation into a better direction that's more healthier for us. Then we're doing ourselves a service, bro, with this craft and this gift that we got and this platform that we benefited to have. Cause everybody don't get that. I was the first one to throw that scratch down in the party. You know, get all the parties around here. Everybody else, whatever they talking about. This only this only conversation I'm giving up. I ain't gonna be doing no conversation with no other documentary. Identify yourself, you know what I'm saying? Who didn't get you a pass to come to the city? Wasn't too many that wasn't from Long Beach, you know what I'm saying, had a pass. We had a few, baby New York, I can name a few of them, you know, big dudes and six dudes, East Coast. You know, we had some homies that was out here, but it was, you know, you had to have a pass to be in the city, man, and that's when the city was strong. It was right, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was, we, we, people were scared to come to Long Beach. They like, I ain't going to Long Beach for no problems. I came from the city by the sea, you know, sharks. Niggas want to lark and they move like narcs. Wire on tap, you know, trying to go snatch the trap. Tell the telling, nigga.